We'll begin with her opening argument, which is that nothing could be done to make a cup for what happened, which is why okay, we must do which is why we must do something about it. It's 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 as yeah. as big brain as you think. Let's play. Can you guess the persuasion of the audience? Thank you very much, Chair. In starting, it's very important that we start with the premise that there are no amount of payments, yeah, no collection of acts that could ever recompense for the hundreds of years of enslavement, genocide, ecocide, the theft of national resources, colonialism, deliberate underdevelopment, and the forms of neocolonialism that persist today. I'm in favor of The all crimes that. against humanity <laughs> that were slavery and colonialism were too great and the impact was too wide. But this is not an argument that we should do nothing at all. The word reparations <laughs> is taken from the Latin word repare, to repair, to make amends. And I would argue that the focus needs to be on this repair, which is as much about moral and social equity as it is about financial compensation. I right. love it. It's like nothing can be done, but that's why we need to repair it. So the, the argument then rests on the substrate of things can only get better for my people if Whitey gives me money. Yeah. You'll, you'll notice with the nothing can be done to prepare this. Yeah. It, it is entirely a statement of this is your original sin. You'll be guilty forever no matter what you do. Mm. Even if I literally take everything from you and your people become non-existent, you'll yeah. still be the evil ones in the past but that we tell our children about. And it, it's a total abnegation of the, the agency of whoever her people are. Yeah. And it's an entirely just a point of Britain must suffer. Yeah. Well, that is all it is. And it is... Mm. Applied to the British in this debate could be applied to any other group at any other time, given any other debate. You, you could sit in India and tell the Indians that nothing can be done for Where's she from? I mean, is she African? I assume she's a sub... I think she's from the Caribbean. Caribbean. She's in her, like, ethnic uh, yeah. makeup, yeah. shall we say. Um, but it's it's irrelevant. The, the point is not for the speakers. It, it is entirely an ideological attack. It is not about actually solving anything, well, which is why she opened with, it cannot be solved. <laughs> so <laughs> if, if the hint wasn't large enough, <laughs> I thought I'd Then I won't. It. Yeah. Uh, the next uh, argument she makes is that brown people only do bad in society because of slavery. To this day, that's still the case. I I, I would have made that argument, but she does. Let's, let's enjoy that one, I suppose. From racism to economic inequality and climate breakdown, so many of the problems that black, Asian and minority ethnic people face in the global south and in this country have their, its undeniable roots in the crimes against humanity, namely slavery and colonialism. I'm so glad I don't get invited to these things because I would just be sat there with my drug going, good. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it. Well, that's like, I don't care. Like, you think you've got a moral claim over me? Piss off, Miss Speaking at the Cambridge Union MP. Like I come from, I come from literally like Wiltshire peasants. Well, like, don't give me this me me me, me privilege, me 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 oppression. Shut up. You've got a, a privileged position to make these arguments as well, being a descendant <laughs> of slaves, Carl. As well, but yeah. Which, well, <laughs> my, my father spent the first five years of his life living in a caravan. But that's the thing. I'm not listening to this crap. No, but because if you're, um, uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> I, I forget the island. You're, you're Saint Helena. Saint yeah. Helena background as well. You it's can how actually. I have the surname Benjamin. <laughs> exactly, but you can sit there as a, as everyone sees you as a white man if you were invited to such a debate, yeah. and then hold out the bowl with Calvin. Yeah, I guess I could. Yeah. I'd be like Gibbs. Yeah. Gibbs now reparations and now. Yeah, yeah. If Kemi yeah, Bainbridge was sat opposite, she'd have to give you money. Yeah. because her people yeah, not only Kemi. enslaved <laughs> your people, <laughs> but then sold it to whitey. Are <laughs> we? You are also owed reparations by this logic. But going back to Belle over here, yeah. because uh, let's take her argument seriously for some reason. Uh, she <laughs> says that the, the only reason black people are doing bad, or sorry, brown-skinned people, because again, we never actually narrowed it down to slavery. The browns. The browns, which includes the Chinese. I, yeah, okay. It, it, we'll get into why a lot of this logic doesn't make any sense in a Hang minute. No, no, no. I don't agree that the yellows are the browns. I, d they do. Like, I don't know. I reject that. It's, I, I, they, and then they, I don't agree that the Italians are the whites. If so. you ask the Chinese, I don't think they put themselves in that category. No, of course either. they it's wouldn't. Not, it's Jesus. not their choice, Carl. <laughs> John, <laughs> do you want the yellows to be part of the browns? <laughs> well, I, I, John, I, John says no. <laughs> I think John might be agreeing with the factual data, whereas Belle agrees with the data in her head. Because we, we have the data, which is uh, how are the brown races, Belle puts it, doing, oh, which is yeah. that all students, but the jippos, are performing better than white British students in schools. So this is on one metric of education. This, oh, if that matters at all. I, I don't know. To a leftist, education, what if they haven't mentioned that? 
So, I mean, if we're, if we're going by the idea that if Group A performs worse in society than Group B, Group B owes reparations to Group A. Then okay, great. The Anglo-Saxon peasants are suffering. The Anglo-Saxons and the Gippos yeah. uh, are to, to unionise. Boys, it's finally happening. Oh, no, I, not the I, I didn't think we'd come together. <laughs> so insufferable. Are we are we going to back down of this proposition? Well, do, why we're do literally we owed money by everyone else in this country if we go along with this. But yeah, but why do we need them? <laughs> well, they're 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 doing worse than us. So. Look, we can give them reparations, and everyone else can give us reparations. I mean, they don't turn up to class, so it's anyway. But <laughs> there's um, exactly. they do it to themselves. There's also this is just an article from the BBC back in the race report. Anyone can go through this in yeah. the time we've it's only last year. We've gone through it a million times. It is it's not like it's ancient history. It, the, the modern left wing in Britain have become complete denialists that this report exists because it just demolished every argument they had because they just assumed that every group in Britain w- was doing worse than the white British and it wasn't true and the white British were doing worse than every group except the Gippos mm. on pretty much every metric uh, education, crime, income it's it's, yeah. it's kind of ridiculous I think on, on the crime one and the income one you get Pakistanis and uh, black Caribbeans doing worse than the white British but one of the other funny facets about it was the black Africans outperformed black Caribbeans on every possible metric yeah for sure black Africans kind of chad to be honest which means that those who are descended of slaves need to pay the slavers. Yeah. In who are yeah, okay. It, it, this is why the conservatives are recruiting all the black Africans to do everything for them. <laughs> but my point is this is the brain your brain on leftism, which is that you 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 zoom out so far, you have such a low resolution image of the world yeah. that you've got two pixels. You've got pixel A, which is white T, and then you've got pixel B, which is the brown race. And that's all you can think about. <laughs> as, as soon as you zoom into it's even like so stupid, eight man. pixels here of eight yeah. ethnic groups, you, you, yeah. you, you've got a mess. And it's it just the, the argument dissolves. We also have the uh, income mm-hmm. brackets I thought I'd bring up yet again. This is from uh, some far right website called .gov. And yep. uh, they, they say in here that the white British income, the groups that outperform the white British here, are the Indians, Chinese and white other and uh, mixed race all perform the white, outperform the white British in making money. So the wealth gap between those groups and us shows that reparations needed for us, if I was a leftist, but I'm not retarded. Yes. We'll go to the next one here, because then there is a running theme that will become apparent and <laughs> yeah. is also made in the argument, which is the country. GDP, GDP per capita in Qatar is 128 grand. It's good, isn't it? God, it must be nice living in a slave state. Um, they deserve the World Cup, I'm sure. So this is... Mentioning GDP per capita, God, it's also right. PPP, so it's actually purchasing power as well. Right, okay. So it's not just numbers on a spreadsheet. Like right, you can right. actually buy stuff if you have a high PPP. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the point being that... It's the, not just Zimbabwe. Yeah. I, I'm just going to list nations that are doing better than the great colonizer of Portugal to make the point that, as will be made future on, is bollocks. Is that, Brazil on there? <laughs> <laughs> the idea being that if you were colonized by whitey, then you've done bad and, and you uh, all your failings are not yours. And in fact, you are presumably doing worse than whitey. And it's like, well, no. Uh, here's, here's a list of nations that are doing better than the whitey Portuguese. Qatar, obviously. Uh, Macau. Singapore, Brunei, Ireland, United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Hong Kong, Bahrain, uh, Japan, Oman, Malta, Aruba, South Korea, uh, the Czech Republic, Cyprus, Estonia, and Lithuania. All nations that have been colonies of some other nation, hmm. but are doing better than the great colonizer of Portugal. Well, where's Brazil on this? Like, how much better than, uh, like, is Brazil doing better than Portugal on this? I, I don't believe so. Uh, can, we, I, can we have a quick uh, search for Brazil just to see where it is? If you do uh, Control F, will probably be the fastest way because there's, there's like a billion yeah. countries these days, unlike the good old days of empire, where uh, we, we would not have to deal with that. Right. Okay. So Brazil is not doing better than Portugal. Fair no, enough. but uh, it's it's the point being that they argue that the great colonizers all just do better than those who are colonized. Well, I noticed that is, Hong Kong and bloody Singapore are doing better than us. Yeah, of course. And uh, so is Qatar, Macau, uh, mm-hmm. Brunei. Yeah. Ireland is better than us. Yeah, Ireland's doing better than us. Oh. U.S. reparations for the potato famine. It's like, well, what, you're earning like twice as much per annum that we are? Like, on average? What would you want? There's a phrase from Ralph near the end where he says, he's quoting some guy who says, my granddaddy may have picked cotton and if he was alive, people would owe him money, but nobody owes me anything. And I'm thinking of some Irish mix on that statement. It's like, my granddaddy may have starved by the British, but he's dead and gone and nobody owes me anything. Li- literally, if you can go, go up to like, I don't know, third place or whatever the Irish were at, right? Like um, <laughs> well, 70, 76, 76,000. We're on 44,000. Yeah, the Irish are doing incredibly well. Yeah, they are. So, um, funnily enough, being so colonized. I don't want to hear mean... any more of this Irish victim complex. This is, uh, <laughs> no. No, it's. it's he's, when you're, you're doing better than the Swiss. Your granddaddy is long and gone and nobody owes you anything. And I'm Great also. Grand- 
<laughs> anyway, <yeah. laughs> anyway, but we're also including Estonia, Lithuania, and whatnot because, rightfully, yes, they were colonies of the Soviet Union and yeah. Japan and whatnot because American colonization is a thing. We debate about this a lot, yeah. and it is yeah. true. It's just incredibly nice. Uh, it's very soft. Yeah. The American colonization is is an incredibly polite project, and um, well, it's incentive based. It's clever. I'm going to mention some other colonies of us today. They're still our colonies. Who are doing better than us? Oh, okay, good. People forget about our overseas territories, as we politely call them. Yeah. But they were called crown colonies for a reason. Uh, Bermuda is doing better than us. Uh, the Isle of Man is doing better than us. Cayman Islands doing better than us. Falkland Islands doing better than us. Really? Unironically, like 70 grand. Bloody hell. Okay. If you look it up, John, on here, if you just control F Falkland and, and you're fine at there. Gibraltar doing better than us. Also Jersey, of course, doing oh, better Gibraltar's than us. Gibraltar's gorgeous. I mean, Yeah, but they're doing better than us. Of course they are. And that's the point. You notice how um, Gibraltar didn't have, I don't know... How do, how do we put this politely? The problems we do. Yeah, didn't have any ethnic strife. No, it's it's amazing, really. But uh, yeah. uh, if it's not on there, don't worry, buddy. You can go look it up on uh, Wikipedia in your own time. And yes, their GDP is, is ridiculously high compared to the motherland, and the motherland sucks. Hmm. And uh, funnily enough, hmm, seems that a colony could do quite well out of the situation. It's uh, it's not something that will eternally hold you back. Hmm. So the Browns just not doing well in society, as she puts it. I can't get over how low resolution that is. But it's just not true. Yeah, there's also the fact that the Bahamas has a higher GDP per capita than the great colonizer of Turkey. I just, this, this whole argument is complete bunk. Your next one here, if we go to uh, Botswana versus Zimbabwe, a point that's been made many times. Yes. It actually doesn't matter what the colony does upon independence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basic, so. Basically, every metric on here just shows how Marxism is a bad idea. Uh, fundamentally... GDP per capita, 4.2 times higher in Botswana next door than yeah. Zimbabwe. And the, the great comparison here is because Botswanans and Zimbabweans are racially the same. Yes. So genetically, there's virtually no difference between them. Both get independence. Uh, ethnically, completely the same. Uh, racially, the same. Uh, decades of independence for themselves. And uh, they took two different paths. And the only difference was ideology. Mm. I, 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 I'm sick of people saying ideology doesn't matter. It really does. Oh, it does, yeah. It really surprisingly does, more than people think. To watch the full video, please become a premium member at lotuseaters.com.